y'all gonna be mad at me, but honestly, I'm kind of upset at myself for doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Remodel Hands with Mia. If you're new here, my name is Samia and I do all things DIY. Today is in such an exciting day. If you've been following me along with this master bathroom renovation, I've been doing everything on my own from starting with demo to ordering new tubs, tiling the floor, redoing the everything and today is the final part of that master bathroom renovation. I'm so excited for you all to see the final reveal. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm getting ready to towel my shower. I'm just gonna do the first row today and let it dry so I can go ahead tomorrow and just um, put in the other rows and start rolling on this back wall here. So as you can see, it's already waterproof. This is the awkward Aqua, Aqua Defense. And I have my laser level here just to tell me where the level line is so I'm gonna go ahead and draw this back row of towels um, just mark them where they need to be cut so when laying towels it's very important to make sure that your first row of towels is level if you don't every row behind the first one is going to be unlevel so this is why the first row is important so what I'm doing is I'm turning the towels on the back side and I'm just marking where my laser level line says that is level and I'm going to use my grinder to cut that because it's going to be a slightly diagonal so I didn't want to use a towel saw if you think you can make those cuts with the towel saw do so but the grinder worked perfectly for me after that I am just using my mortar and laying the towels on the wall as usual So as I was laying this first row of towels, I decided that I didn't really like the contrast of the color of the towels and the tub together. It was kind of an off-white, so I ripped it all off before it dried because I felt like the towel is such a major decision. I didn't want to be stuck with this forever. So yesterday, I started putting in the first row of towels, and when I got, once it got it in, I realized that I did not like it. Like... I didn't feel like it flowed with the floors. Now, it could have very well been the blue on the Aqua Defense throwing it off, but I also felt like it was just giving off a tan color, and the marble is like white and gray. And the vanity that I ordered is blue, so I just felt like it wouldn't have worked in the space. So, I ripped it all off and took a late night trip to Home Depot, returned the towel that I had, and then I bought some more. Now I bought the same exact towel, just in the color white. So uh, here's the towel. It has a little bit of like dimension in it. I don't know if y'all can actually tell from here, but I bought the same exact towel just in the color white. So I wouldn't have a clash between the floors and the bathroom, like the wall towel in the shower. So um, I'm about to go ahead and install this one, the first row today. So tomorrow I can start like toweling that back wall. Everything like I'm on the last stretch of this bathroom vanity, like the bathroom. And I could not be more excited because I'm tired. Y'all, I am tired. But regardless of the fact, um, the bathroom vanity is going to be here this week too. So we're, we're getting done.
I am using a Project Source towel cutter and it just scores the towel and snaps it so easy. I didn't have to go outside and use my wet towel saw, so this helped me so much with cutting my towel on this project. hey guys i am getting ready to test my grout out i went ahead and mixed some out it's like the color warm gray i wanted like a light gray that would have contrast um with the marble floors it's that little gray in the marble floors so that's why i'm going to test this one out um i'm gonna go ahead and grout and then let it cure I'm just going to do like a little test layer right here. Let's see. I don't think I grabbed enough. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of dark. Let's see. I feel like... So here's the color. It really doesn't look bad. I think maybe I thought I wanted a lighter gray, but we'll see. So I did decide to keep the color that I chose and that I tested out. This is the color Avalanche um, in the brand Mappa. I purchased this grout from Lowe's and once I put it on and it dried, it became that light gray color that I was looking for. I guess because it is mixed with water, it gives off a darker color when you first apply it and before it dries. So wait till it dries and actually see what it is like and it's so pretty you can see on that back wall the color is actually dried so it is light gray so quick update y'all won't be mad at me but honestly i'm kind of upset at myself for doing this i ordered the vanity too big i thought that it would fit in the space um like how i measured it but honestly it's not so um i'm about to some <laughs> I have to sell it um, instead of sending it back. It's too big. I did unbox it. So let me show y'all. I can actually show y'all the measurement and how like it would be wrong into the space. So let's see. So here's the vanity. And like it was beautiful. This is the top. Um, it did have a small chip on the back like right there. But other than that like beautiful color. The hardware was gorgeous, like the gold on there. I'm gonna take it down. Come up. Vanity is about 60 inches, like in total. Put it down. Okay. So, put it down here. 60 inches. Oh, let me straighten it. 60 inches here will literally be hitting the toilet. That is why I have to send the vanity back. I did order a new one yesterday. I ordered it in 48 inches. I ordered it from Wayfair. They come in like 12 inch increments. So 48 inches is gonna fit perfect in here and still have space for the toilet. I am gonna install the toilet today, so. Y'all, I'm a little nervous. Put this toilet down. I'm gonna do this trick I saw this man do on TikTok. <laughs> Good. 
I'm just trying to get the bolts on right now and then I'm gonna screw it like full in with my wrench. Now it's been a minute since I cut this toilet on, so I gotta cut it on real slow. Y'all think we good? <laughs> no water. I'm going to check downstairs to make sure nothing. Alright guys, so my vanity is here and I am switching out the knobs. Now, it actually comes with the knobs on the back so they won't get damaged in transport. So, um, I literally just have to go in and switch them all. There's a mess in the back. It's all this stuff from the box. I have to find some way to get rid of all this stuff. So, yeah. Now that the major part of the bathroom is done, I'm going in with adding my hardware. I did decide to go with gold finishes in this bathroom because honestly I just love the color gold and I think it makes this bathroom pop, especially on the white towel and on the top of the blue vanity. I just think it looks gorgeous in this bathroom and I'll have all of it linked in the description box where I got my hardware from and um, the vanity everything will be linked if it's not just send me a little comment in this comment section and I'll be sure to respond to it
know, I was creepy for a minute, but we got it straight. <laughs> Getting ready to caulk the tub. I'm just going around with um, the tub and towel silicone and the color white. Hitting this. I'm starting with building my floating shelves. I took a poll on Instagram on what I should put over my toilet and the options were shell floating shelves or pictures and floating shelves won by a lot. So this is the method that I'm using to build floating shelves. This is always the option that I go for. So here I am building those. I am using a one by three and a one by eight in pine wood i bought this from lowe's and i just cut it down to the size that i wanted it to be for my shelves and just used it from that this is a very easy method for building a floating shelf and i highly recommend it All right, okay y'all, I am getting ready to put up my shelf in the bathroom. Yes, it looks crooked, but it's not. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Y'all, I feel like this may be looking too hot. Now, put it so like when you sit on the toilet, your head wouldn't hit it. So what y'all think? Like, I'm not that tall, so. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. And then if I put some, sh maybe that'll help it not look so awkward. Like I put a bucket right here. I'm now going in with my decor pieces. I purchased most of this decor from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. That is my store. <laughs> like, if anything, I'm always going to go to TJ Maxx and they'll always pull it through for me. And um, the only other thing that I didn't get from here are the flowers. And I purchased those from Joann's. But these pieces look so good. I can't believe I got like all the decor in one weekend. It usually takes me forever to find decor. <laughs> Now we have come to the end of the video, but before, let's throw it back to what it looked like before. This is what our bathroom looked like before any touches, and this is what it looks like now. It was a 1990s bathroom, and now it is up to date. It's modern, it's beautiful, and I love it. And most importantly, my mom loves this bathroom. Thanks so much for following me along with me through this journey and being patient with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this series and comment down below what your favorite part of this series was i'll see you all in my next video be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up bye